I'm going to read two of my poems. The first is called Promise Your Hand. Promise your hand. The dawn is yet slow, and I am spun through ten years, seas and cities. Uncertain trees pursue the road, and though I take the next train, draw the shade, names not in my language beat at the window, cold enemies sit opposite, masked in the local headlines, their wine and bread, not for my asking. They lurch and wind among the dark mountains. I am searched at the frontier, walled in gray uniforms. I am flung to the high, unwanted room to count my foreign coins like minutes with the bent concierge watching from the hall, wishing me neither good nor harm, wishing me nothing. Look, the vague trees clutch even here, not yet so tall, but clutching. Promise your hand. I will speed these rails again, leap by these lights, hide between cars, but be, only be the patient and sure miracle of yourself at the last far station, implausible point on the wild map, suddenly real, and from what great arc, marvelously catching my flight, containing me. And the next is called The Summer Countries. The Summer Countries. Opened clear as a child's geography, the summer countries. The hills folding and unfolding. Sunlight stretched long upon the beach, hung, folded, and unfolded in the nets. The land a long morning, the morning a land, its hours clear and still as pebbles, corals, blue shells. As for the first time opened, and the whole sky caught among its nets and pebbles, the country never and always open, and time burst into the first time, fell cadenzas of first light along the long beach. It was both land and morning, and the light was loud and everywhere, like bells. 